Hi, and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Lois here, and today I'm going to be showing you how I painted these beautiful festive um, holiday cards that I painted last year. Um, they're quite easy to do. I've just divided a sheet of quarter imperial watercolour paper into six with masking tape. And um, so any size, or you can divide your page up into any shapes, any sizes that you want. And then at the end, cut them out and stick them onto card blanks. And they make really lovely festive cards. These have been inspired by um, autumn and winter berries and fruits. So rose hips, blackberries, sloes, teasels. Of course, you could make um, the, your choices even more overtly festive with some mistletoe or some holly and ivy, uh, that sort of thing, or sort of Christmas rose or poinsettias. You could choose any particular flower or plant that you like and it would look just as effective. Here's my inspiration board. I collated this from um, the royalty free site Pixabay, but of course you can get your inspiration from wherever you like. I'm using a piece of Saunders Waterford cold pressed watercolour paper and it's taped to my board and as I said earlier my board is divided into six with ordinary decorators masking tape. First thing I'm going to do is to completely simplify my reference photographs and just take the essence of each plant that I decide to focus on. Um, and just draw them in their simplest form, just a few twigs and a few fruits on each. I'm using my, <coughs> excuse me, my favourite carpenter's pencil here. Um, it's a large pencil with a very thick lead, the type that carpenters use to mark up their wood. And I like to use it because it um, keeps me loose. It's like using a big brush for a painting. Um, you can't fiddle. The smaller and finer the pencil, the more tempting it is to get carried away with a little bit too much detail. And I'm going to um, cover these drawings, the berries and the twigs, once they're finished, with a bit of masking fluid. This will help to preserve the shapes of these and I can then go over with a very abstract washy wash of colour over these little plants and berries and keep them, um, keep the white of the paper so that then when I paint them, they will be bright and clean and I don't have to worry about painting around them, which of course you can do, but it just takes a little bit longer. So this is a nice, quick, easy way to create um, you know, a nice number of holiday cards. Then what I'll do is I'll look at them once I've created the background and see what I think. And if I think they need strengthening up, I shall go over the outlines with waterproof fine liner. And then once I have done that, I shall paint them in, making sure I get those berries lovely and red. So here's the masking fluid just going on, being painted over my lovely penciled outlines. I'm trying to sort of alter the angle at which the plants come into each little section or each card. And that will give me a nice variety of cards at the end, but they'll all be harmonious and they'll all link just like a little set. So I just need to leave that masking fluid to dry completely and then I'll start to paint them. I'll put some music on and let you watch the rest of the process unfold. Of course, you can use any colours you like. I can't remember which colours I used here, but any similar colours will work really nicely.
So that's the background completed and now I need to leave that to dry completely as soon as it's dry and here it is, it's dry and I've removed the masking fluid by gently rubbing it off with my finger. I've decided that in order to keep these bold and simple, I'm going to, rather than trying to just carefully paint them in, it's going to be a lot easier to outline them and give them a nice bold dark outline and then that will make them stand out even more against the washy washes. If you decide to do this to start with, you can, of course, do this line work first before you put your masking fluid on. But I was unsure at this stage whether or not I wanted to paint them as pure watercolour or as line and wash. But I think they're going to look really effective as line and wash. I'm using an artist's pit pen, um, a medium nib, and just going to go round the outline of all of the cards. And once they're outlined, then I can paint them and use nice, lovely, rich reds and browns and purples for these lovely seasonal colours.
So that's all six cards just about finished and you can see that they're quite simple to make but very effective. Of course the washi background can be done for any subjects just using different colours according to what your main subject for your cards is. So these can be cut out um, and simply glued onto card bases or you could stick them onto sort of a black piece of card first to give them a black border and then stick them onto your cards and I think they make really lovely holiday cards if you wanted to go a little bit further you could use um, glitter and just put a little bit of clear glue here and there and sprinkle some sparkly glitter onto them to make them look even more festive as if they were lightly dusted with frost I hope that was helpful. I hope it's given you some ideas for creating your own watercolour festive cards. And if you enjoyed this video, then please leave us a like and consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already, as it really helps with our reach. And thank you so much to everyone that supports this channel um, through Patreon. And if you want to support the channel, either Morgana or myself, then please follow the links in the description below. Many thanks, take care and happy painting. Bye.